All right, this is the Timber Ridge Elite. This is 2,700 square foot, triple wide manufactured home. All right, so right as we walked in, we ran into a nice little coat closet. The entryway, another big one. Man, these triple wides, I tell you what, they get me. Oh, reverse, reverse. And I tell you what, I don't ever know where to start in these things. I guess let's go ahead and start here in the living room. This is only the second triple wide home I've ever been in. And what that means, if you're unfamiliar with it, just means that this is a three section home where you would have normally like a single wide, which is a one section home. You have a double wide, which is made up of two separate sections. This one is made up of three separate sections. Really fancy. Now we did walk through another one just a little bit ago. They have two here at Homes Direct. And man, they were both. It, once you get done watching this one, if this is the first one that you've seen, definitely go check out that one. I just, I get lost in it. Beautiful tile. Now this is more like a mahogany color, I guess, for the cabinets. I know a lot of people, they hate like the, we've done the hickory, we've done the pine. And I know people love it's hit or miss with the white and gray. Let me know what you think about this more mahogany color. And then the tile on the kitchen floor. Your little mini island. I want to show you something a little different. Again, you have the crown molding going around, but right here, looking into the kitchen, it's kind of like a little cutaway, just like a little beam. So that's pretty neat. And this you have, I like here because in this kitchen, you have access to communicate with people out there in your dining room. You can socialize with people out here in your living room. And then you just walk in to your pantry. Now this is a four bedroom, I think three bath home. So it's like a maze back here. So I'm gonna go ahead and at the end of this video, I'll put up the floor plan just to let you check it out like I always do. So let me know what you think about it. This one's a little different. All right, and then coming down the hallway. Your utility closet, a little folding table, washer dryer hookups. Now I would imagine one is a hot water heater and one, oh, proven wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> it's a closet and another closet. Damn, got him coach. There's your furnace. All right, 
then coming into your, what is this, the second bedroom? I'm telling you, there's too many rooms in here. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Kind of get a feel, decent sized rooms, really nice. Kind of a standard closet size. Again, if you've noticed, there's no paneling. All right. So I guess this is another den. Has these double doors on both sides. On this side and over here. This is where you lock the kids up. Just kidding. I would never. And then you can come back through and there you go. You got your dining room and living room. And then here is your second bathroom. Now in the last one we saw, one of the bedrooms ended up having an ensuite. This one doesn't, but it is right next to the third bedroom and easily accessible from your dining room or den area. And then I guess the other bathroom would be more so just for the other two bedrooms. Now this bedroom is a lot larger. So I guess this would be like a guest, maybe a guest bedroom. All right, I've been messing up lately. I've been showing y'all the, the master bedrooms first, but I'm getting smarter. <laughs> Just kidding. I almost did it earlier. I walked over here and then uh, I had to back out and go again. All right, so let's start here. This is your closet. First, let's do this. Let's do a grand entrance. All right, so here, now it is right by the front door, but it has kind of separates itself with these two double doors. And it's more like a grand suite. Like that's what, that's what the feel is. So you come straight in, you got, it's like your own house within a house. So to the right is your master closet which is just, I mean, it's, this is a whole nother bedroom. This is the size of the other three bedrooms I've just shown you. Wow. And then coming into the actual master bedroom. Let me know about that closet. Do you think it's a giant waste of space? or you can fill it up faster than it takes to cook a hot dog in the microwave. <laughs> that was dumb. Anyway. And here goes your master bathroom, ensuite, with double vanities, large double vanities, I might add. They're a lot of space on both of them. Separated by your giant tub. Soaking spa. All right, now I, I am not a fan of the metal shower surround. It's just, there's too much. That's just me though. I like the ones that just kind of come over with the tile stop and you walk in, but either way. This has two shower heads, a bench. And then your water closet. 
What's going on guys? So Timothy here with Mobile Home Tours. We are out here at Homes Direct in Albany, Oregon. Yes, I flew all the way across the country to look at some beautiful manufactured homes. And this one right here is the Sivana. It is a three bedroom, two bath, 2,280 square foot, 30 by 76. Try not to step in some mud. Anyway, so I flew out, I got in last night and super excited to get out here and show this to you guys. All of these homes are beautifully staged and I don't think any of them are like anything we've seen on the channel so far. So there's several different things I've been wanting to do and I'm actually thinking about pitting some of these up against each other. And instead of just doing like a normal walk around tour video, we're gonna do HGTV style and let you pick the best one. Now we we'll probably won't do it on this one, but just kind of something to think about. All right, so what do y'all think about the outside of this home though? Without further ado, I've only just barely stepped inside. So everything that you see will be also new to me. All right, so you have this great big kind of foyer when you first come in the home. We'll turn around and let you see the entrance. And right off of that, you have a little coat closet. This home is done up in all drywall, no paneling, no wire shelving, whoop whoop. I'm sure everybody's excited to see that. The living room, great big area. Got the gas fireplace going on. Recessed lighting. Got a sweet little breakfast bar right here. Going into this ginormous kitchen. You got little barn door style pantry. It's not a walk-in pantry like we've been seeing, but ample room. I'm, I'm just gonna go out and say that so far, just based off of the living room, this is the nicest home we've toured yet. And there's still 19 more to go. All right, this island, I forget who it was. Somebody wanted me to start panning down on the ends of the island, so. Sorry if I don't remember your name, but I did remember what you asked, so we got that. Now, could you just see yourself hanging out? Maybe put a TV up over there where that picture is, watching some good old family fun happening. Then the backsplash is actual tile up on that. Right on 
this end. Got your plugs on the end of the island. You got your built-in microwave and oven. Now y'all aren't gonna believe the, the base price on this home. It's actually, it, it surprised me. I was thinking it was gonna be a whole lot more than it actually was. Great big dining area. Huge table. All right, tell me how y'all feel about this. This is a little different. We haven't seen anything like this. So you have your main living area, and then this is almost like a study or a den, maybe. I love the openness that you can see from back here all the way to the front. Oh my goodness. Did we didn't, did we? I think we stumbled into the master bedroom. Look at us. Starting at the wrong end of the house, Tim. But it's a really nice sized bedroom. I'm so excited to actually be touring a home with no wire shelving. Interesting. Let's see what this master bathroom is all about. Now, normally I would tour the homes before showing them to you, but I only barely walked in, so. This is pretty cool though. humongous tub double vanities got a little Step up going into your shower with your bench. Actual tile. And they did a really good job on this one. This has just got me wanting to see all the other ones now. This is cool. All right, don't go anywhere. I know I showed you the best part of the home, but let's go see what the back part has to offer. I didn't even show you guys this. So you in the kitchen, I completely forgot to look up. You got the tray ceilings with the beams. I think that's a pretty cool little feature. And then the lighting package that's in here right now. Can't miss the details, Tim. Man, you gotta slow down. I'm getting too excited. All right, so this is a three bedroom, two bath. So here is our first guest bedroom. I say guest bedroom. You know, if this is a family home, obviously it's gonna be one of your kids' rooms, unless you wanna give them the master bedroom. I would fight my kids if they wanted to do that. If they wanted me to stay in here. Pfft. What? You're crazy. Back up a little bit. Slow your roll, Tim. All right. So you gotta see this kind of funky, a little different. All right, so after that first bedroom, you come out, you hang a right, and you walk into this little hallway area. 
I'm sure that's your linen closet. We're gonna look at that in a second. Let's go ahead and check out the other bedroom. They did a really good job decorating this one. These little hooks, those are cool. Oh, I don't know if I'm just gonna be on this one. Anyway, Jen, take notes. Well, row, row. Gotta decorate his room. I think we're talking about going with a, a woodland theme for little Rory's bedroom. But his little, the kid's playing. That's pretty neat. All right, we'll shoot across. I guess we're gonna save the, the utility room for last. Great big linen closet. And then a really large guest bathroom. It just feels like it's spacious, it's roomy. I got room to, to move. And you got your one piece tub with actual, and it has actual tile around it. Got you. Another little closet. See, a lot of room. This is bigger than the bathroom in my house. It's not even the master bathroom. All right, here we go into the utility room. It has its own island. All right, so you got your electric panel, your back door. I know, I'm, I'm hiding all that stuff. A little built-in, maybe a shoe rack. And then here we go. Your laundry room has an island. <laughs> Your laundry room's bigger than my kitchen. Again, actual tile surround, backsplash, backsplash. It's a backsplash. Washer dryer hookups. More storage. deep sink. And then your furnace. This is the Cantina by Redmond. Now I can't really show you all the way around the home just because this one backs up to their office. So that's a little funky, but I will just walk you guys around and show it to you. They've been so nice as to show me all the homes in this at the dealership. We actually, in the last video, we just got done looking at this one right here, which is a beautiful double wide. Now this one is also another big double wide, which is kind of a new thing for our channel. Uh, pretty much everything we've been showing off are single wide, so I'm really trying to start getting out there. So I hope you guys have been enjoying the tours. And if you are, let me know down in the comments. Now let's go ahead and go on into this home. So when you first come in, you walk into the foyer, foyer? Uh, do you say foyer or foyer? Anyway, all right. So let's check this home out. This one has some beautiful features that I love personally. 
You have the little TV hideaway up here. The little, I guess that's gas. give away too much with the kitchen. The kitchen's also nice. This is your wide angle living room shot for you guys. Now check out this island right here. Plenty of seating already up here, but this little section actually comes with the home. It's not removable, it's built into the island. It's got a nice little waterfall side, which is really nice. I love the refrigerators with the Got your pantry right in the middle. Nice big pantry. I actually brought them donuts down here. So I came down here last week and they were super busy. So I figured if I'd come and butter them up with some Dunkin' Donuts, they'd make some time for me. And guess what? It worked. <laughs> the donuts worked. All right. I love, again, I don't know. I just, I love, love, love seeing those range hoods, like with the stacks on top. It's just, I like them. More cabinets. All right, now the cantina is also a two bedroom, uh, no, three bedroom, two bath. Big old, big old dining area to ship lap in the back. And that would lead out to your patio door. So you could go out the back over here. This just happens to butt up to their office. So, can't couldn't show you the back back of the home, but we'll walk down here. Check out the bedrooms before we go into the bathrooms. Got to get that watch time though, you know, that retention rate. I'm just kidding. I do. Very spacious bedrooms in here. If you've been noticing, there's no paneling. This is all drywall, which is nice. I think to get these nice updated feels, you need that drywall, you know what I mean? Nobody paneling so old and it just dates the homes. Now, so many things can be changed in these homes. I'm sure you could, if you didn't like the carpet and you liked the, the vinyl throughout, I'm sure that's something that you could change. I happen to like the carpet in the bedrooms just because Sometimes you're just like laying on the floor and it's a little more comfortable on a carpet than it is on the floors. All right, so this is the guest bed, guest bathroom. This is the guest bathroom. This is my bedroom.
Spanish store. I don't know if I like that. So this is like a, that's a can. It's interesting. Ting. It's different. A cute little place to, to fold your laundry. Or, you know, if you're a YouTuber like myself, set your camera up. Jen pushes me back to the back of the house. It's my little area. All right, so I saved the best for last, and guys, that is the master bedroom and the master bathroom. So let's cruise on over. Oh, we forgot a closet. There's a closet here. There is a closet. Ooh, tiny. This is a tiny hallway. The closet's not tiny. The closet's nice. All right. into the master bedroom. These guys down here have really set up their homes nice. All right, now in here, you probably noticed that there was no closet. Where's the closet door? See, I don't want to get you guys dizzy. No closet door in here. Where, where could it be, Jim? Yeah? In here, check this out. Dun, 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 dun. That bench right there though. Perfect for guys to pester their wives or girlfriends. Jen's pregnant right now, so, you know, that's the number one thing I have to do is pester her sit here and ask her questions for days. A little toilet nook. Big old standing shower with the glass doors. His and her sink. Vanity. Now, where was the closet? Look at this. Got your towel rack and Closet is in the master bathroom. Set up for a, a his side <laughs> and a her side. I think that's what it is. It's probably not. It's probably the closet is hers and the one that we saw in the hallway back there is his. I don't know. I'm just kidding. Anyway, so I thought that was a pretty neat little feature they had going on there. Now, if you're looking for some beach vibes, I got it right here. This is the Deja Blue, which is another cantina by Redmond. Uh, the layout on this one, now I've showed you a cantina before in previous videos, but the layout on this one is way different and it has an actual porch on it. So you're gonna like it. All right, y'all, so this is another cantina. It's just set up a little bit different. This one's more of a, a long home as opposed to a wider home. But if you watched the previous one that we walked through uh, of the cantina, then this Deja Blue right here is gonna have some of the same features. So go ahead and pan around to your entryway your front door which leads into your living room and your kitchen all right 
so again this home right here has this fun little TV hide so your TV can hook up right inside of here and then when you're not using it you want that nice clean feel you just shut the door again so that's pretty neat and then you have beautiful gas fireplace And then this kitchen. So beautiful island. Plenty of room on both sides for the whole family to kind of sit around and eat the breakfast or the cereal and got the microwave built in right there on the island. Your pantry. Now I've seen both of them, and both of them have these little corner pantries right here in between the stove and your sink with counter space on each side. I'm a fan of it, personally. Let me know what you think. Are you a fan, or uh, would you prefer it to be kind of a little more out of the way? And then for your dining area, you got a whole bunch of room over here. This table's got four, but I'm sure you could fit a nice six person table if that's what you were looking to do. All right, and this is a three bedroom, two bath. So coming down the hallway, we're gonna start working our way through the bedrooms. But the first thing we come to is a nice little linen closet. Right next to that is our first bedroom. Again, this one has carpet, but I like the carpet personally. You might wanna change it up a little bit. And that's the thing about these homes. They can be completely customized to fit your particular need. So just because you're seeing something in the home that I'm showing you doesn't necessarily mean that has, that's how it has to be. You can always take what you like from this and then put in your own features, like paint colors, flooring, texture. And then I'll show you in the master, I did a video I shot another video here while I was looking around at some of the homes and the tub that was in the master in that home, uh, you can do something similar in this home. So if you wanna see what I'm talking about, I did a video, it is uh, the Southern Bell video that I did. Check that out and that one just, you'll see what I'm talking about with the tub and the bathroom. If you kinda of want an idea, if you like the layout of this home. All right, so these are the first two bedrooms. And again, all of the information for this home will be down in the description below. So you can kind of check that out. You got like a little coat closet in the, in the hallway. And then into your mud room slash utility room. Got your back 
door. Nice little sink. Again, the cantinas go with these tin doors. I'm sure that's something that you can have replaced if, if you wanted to. To me, it just kinda, I just wanna have a, an actual door that matches everything else, but that's neither here nor there. All right, and then your guest bathroom. been doing all these tours of my before and after homes and I never knew that I was zoomed in all the way and then I could really get a lot wider shot using my phone but now I know I've been playing around with it all right nice little one piece again you can have these completely customized however you want them I'm sure they can do something a little different if that's what you were looking for I get to whispering sometimes, like somebody's in here, but they're not, it's just me. All right, into the master. All right, but before we go into the master, you gotta do one thing because I can't go in, it, I'm, I'm stuck. I can't go in unless you hit the like button. You've unlocked it. You've hit the like button. Also, I've been getting a bunch of likes lately and I appreciate every single one of them. My beard is, it's coming together. Sometimes I just shave my beard because I hate shaving it. I look like a chubby man child. Not even a man, just <laughs> a chubby child. So I hate shaving it, but sometimes I do it just because I need to, to start over. You know, gotta moisturize the skin underneath there. I don't know what I'm talking about. But luckily for me, it grows back really fast. The beautiful room it really has that like beach vibe to it. And into the bathroom. Now I love these little, I love the cantina bathrooms. I love the, the bench that they have. Oh, and I was talking about that I was gonna tell you so this bench, right, there's no, there's no tub in this one. But if you watch the video that I put up earlier with the Southern Bell, they, and I was talking, the lady that was showing it to me, she said that you could have this wall kicked, kicked out, and the bench will be gone and you can put a nice little garden tub right here. So if that's something that you were into, instead of just the bench, but, I love the lights in the mirror. That's a really nice feature. Makes it just look really clean. Giant shower. You could park like a Volkswagen Beetle in there. And I love the built-in in, in these homes right here. Canteen, and both the, the other canteen I, I've toured also has the same feature and I really like it. And then the toilet that's tucked away in the little nook. Now, if you noticed, and we'll poke our heads back out there real quick. They don't, there's no closet again in this one. So no closet in the room, right? And I like this because they bring it all together and your closet is tucked away back behind your bathroom. So you get dressed, you shower, everything right here in one spot. It just, it allows for more room in your bedroom. But it is, it's a nice closet. Plenty of room. What's going on guys? So today, Nice little surprise for you. This is the Enterprise by Rockwell. 
and I get to take you on a little tour. So I'm pretty excited about it. Anyway, it's kind of loud. So I'm gonna walk around it real quick and then I'll take you on the inside. guys check this out how beautiful is this so it's a little loud outside check out this living room so this is when you first walk in the door check out the floor is very pretty So what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and let's start through the kitchen and then we'll come back out here and check out the, the master. So this is something I've been trying to work on for a while is being able to come out here and show you guys all these great homes, whether you're looking for a home or you know, on the channel, we do a whole bunch of, you know, renovations and stuff. So even if you're not looking for a new home, you know, this type of stuff gives you a whole bunch of ideas for what to do with your renovations. I mean, even like I've heard everybody on the channel talking about, man, you should have put an island. Like, look at this island. That thing is huge. It's nice too. Wish it had a sink in the middle. That'd be good. So it's got this big old farmhouse sink right here. Nice and stainless. Nice cabinets. The vent hood, that's my favorite. I love the vent hoods. Something about them. Ooh, them stove stove. Coming down the hallway. This is a three bedroom, two bath. So this is your guest bathroom right here. Very nice, I love the countertops. It's a pretty color. The linen closet. Let's check out this door first. I'm just curious, I'm curious. Got the furnace in here. Hot water heater. Nice little tuck away place. All right, so this is the first bedroom. I like the carpet. I like how they transition to carpet. A lot of our homes, we've been putting all vinyl throughout the whole home, but I just feel like bedrooms still need that, that carpety feel, you know? So this is a, a nice big bedroom. about the closet, Tim. Don't go without not seeing the closet. Very nice closet, you know. This is a really pretty home. And right next to it, you got your second bedroom. It's 
been working on trying to go slower in all my walkthrough videos. I don't want to rush through them, you know what I mean? So both of these rooms are about the same size. I'll make sure to leave all the information about this home in the description below. What's behind this door? Another little linen closet. And the utility room, the laundry room. This thing's got closets for days. So much space. Another big old closet. There's so much room. Pan around. Yeah. It's like my favorite place in the whole house. That bench. What do you guys think? One of the first of many. I love, I love touring these things. I like how they hit the electric box right here. We kind of did that with one of our hot water heaters one time. All right, so now let's cruise on over and check out the master bedroom and the bathroom in this thing. It's beautiful. All right. So nice, big bedroom. Let's you guys check that out. The windows really bring in a lot of light, which is nice. Yeah. Huge closet. Closet goes for days. I don't even think me and Jen have enough room to, or have enough clothes. There's more than enough room. I don't think we have enough clothes to fill up all this. Well, she might. Girls are funny that way. I think she's got, she got boxes. She rotates her clothes. She breaks out them summer clothes. Check out this bathroom though. Oh, dang, that's nice. Got the his and her vanity. Shower is humongous. Got that little rainfall shower head thing. Tile tubs around. Another big linen closet. We all think about this home. That's pretty. Very nice. Here we go. Check this out again. I get so excited walking into these homes, even though, you know, I, I check them out before I come in here and talk to you guys about it just to kind of, you know, see what's happening. But this is the, the foyer for this home, which is nice. I'd like, breaking up the section of the home a little bit so you're not sitting right in your living room as soon as you come through the door. So. And y'all are gonna love the layout of this home. I, I really like it. 
right off the foyer you have your coat closet now throughout this home you might see a little bit of paneling and a little bit of drywall most of this home is drywall which is an option and again all of the homes that i show you guys every home is customizable but check this out now all of the cabinets in this one which i've been getting beat up so hard not necessarily me but these homes have been getting beat up so hard in the comments everybody hates the white cabinets so I present to you, not white cabinets. So you got a nice seating area on the island. And one of my favorite things about this island, which I've talked about, I wish one of a couple of the other homes would have it as well, is actually having the sink on the island. I think that's a pretty neat feature. But that does leave a lot of this open counter space that, you know, just seems like a little bit of a waste. To me, but that could be different, you know, for everyone else. Now check out this backsplash. This backsplash is actual tile. not paneling. And again, the hickory cabinets. So really nice. You have your gas range and built-in microwave. in your refrigerator. Now here, a lot of their homes aren't completely finished just because this is a show lot. So where you see like this right here, this would be covered up with some nice trim. Into your dining area, which is a huge space. You could probably actually fit some chairs on either end of this table as well and get six people. And then you have your sliding door out to your future backyard. And then this home has a feature that a lot of people have been saying they wish a particular home would have. And you have this nice gas fireplace with a nice hearth and a spot for your TV over the top of it. What do y'all think about that? I like it. Ah, I heard a gin. And again, if you're not loving the carpet, the carpet is an option as well, whether you want that or another type of flooring. All right, now we'll go in here with Jen and check out this first bedroom. Now this room is long. Kind of feels a little a little small just because it is long. I'm sure it still has enough room to... Let's get over here so you can see it. I mean, there's enough room for a bed in here, but probably make a good kid's room. Just to me, this one feels smaller than some of the other rooms that I've seen. And then across the hall, See, this one just feels a little bit bigger. To me, and it, that, it, it might not be the case, you know what I mean?
But this has been one of my favorite layouts. And then you have your standard one piece shower tub combo. Again, going with the hickory throughout this home. And then into your utility room with a door towards the back. Then you have your furnace and your electric panel. And then in the corner you have washer dryer hookups. And again, I know everybody's gonna say something about the wire shelving, you know, especially when you have such nice features as this one does with the hickory cabinets and stuff. And then they're just gonna go and ruin it with some wire shelving. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right. And then as always, saving the best for last, let's go check out this master bedroom. All right, this isn't too bad. This is a decent size. I think you could easily get away with a, a king size bed in here and still have room for your, your nightstands on either side. And I'm thinking a dresser over on, against this wall, you know what I mean? And then they've really been doing an amazing job with the size of these closets. Even in my house, I just, I've got an itty bitty closet. Jen makes me put all my clothes in. And then my piddly little drawer that I have, she gets the rest of the. <sighs> and then into your ensuite, which has nice little linen closet. And then double vanity, the neat little, I guess, medicine cabinet. And then you have this great big window up above, letting in a whole bunch of light. And then your shower, which I think is pretty cool. And then next to that, you have another linen closet. And then your toilet. 